This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Welcome to this another video in Market Talk YouTube channel. Hope today was a profitable trading day for you all. So let's understand into the market view what happened today and what is the view for the remaining days. Before that, we'll just see the disclaimer. Any views presented here, it is my personal opinion. Any loss incurred by you by taking trades based on this view, I will not be responsible. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any trades. Let us go to the charts. So coming to the power of two charts. So it was a clearly a premium meeting day. Nothing else. <clears throat> if you see the bank nifty from starting almost 950. Okay, from there till the end of the day, it was between the go along and short breakout level. <clears throat> Nothing else it was doing the entire day. It is a premium meeting day completely. And 2500 is a focus point. It went almost like 150 points above 2500 and almost 150 points below 2500. That's it. Nothing else. So it was just like whenever on rise, it was like selling the call option and whenever on dip, selling the put option. So today in the Telegram channel also, I mentioned here what are the uh, highest open interest change uh, strike prices. Hope that was useful. So when the market is rising so much, suddenly people come under panic and square up their uh, short calls. And similarly, on coming down, they square up the short puts. Just see this uh, in the morning, if you see 2500 put was the highest open interest change. So people started the 2500 put. After that, once the market started breaking, then they started panic and then 2400 put was squared, uh, short shorted and 2300 put. So in case of Nifty, Nifty also very clear uh, pre meeting day. It was between go short and go long level for most of the time for the entire day. So on rise, it is like if you see just 800 points range it was. After two uh, almost like a two days of continuous trending day, now the market is taking some breather before its next move. In case of charts, the same thing you can see. Let us uh, go to the our charts. So coming to the hourly chart setup, if you see here the retracement from the starting 1800 levels, now up from the bottom. So we tried to just uh, overtake the 11,297 uh, 300 levels, uh, which is the 50% <clears throat> level. So once 11,300 is taken out, then only next move can be seen on the 16.8%, which is 11,415. So nothing today's um, price movement has not changed the structure anyway, but it likes island reversal. You can see something like island reversal here. So this is a very good support here, 11,800 levels. So just keep a tab of this. Uh, we need to break this 11,000 levels, then only we can see some new swing low below that. But we have a lot of supports. Lashman Rekha is there also, and then weak weekly point is there. So a lot of supports we can know very clearly before any reversal comes. But I'm expecting that this uh, gap could be get filled in this uh, week spray. So something like fishy looks like, but however, get ready for that. In case you get a move, then you can uh, get a very good opportunity for buying put options. And let us see the Bank Nifty hourly chart. So because the Bank Nifty hourly chart, the situation is very bad. The here, even 23.6% retracement, it could not cross actually. Bank Nifty is very, 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 uh, very weak actually. We need to uh, go at least 22,230 levels uh, for this 30.2% uh, retracement has to come. After that, 50% uh, retracement. So as of now, 21,500 looks a high level of probability of uh, option expiry for this week expiry. It is not doing anything great on the upside or downside either. So in case any up move comes, then 22 to 37 is the next target for Bank Nifty. But otherwise, 2500 looks a high probability. Let us go to the Ichimoku Cloud chart setup. In case Ichimoku Cloud, the situation was like as though we are just going to break the cloud and uh, they went ferociously. But uh, the third day looks very weak actually now. Possible that once it comes into the Cloud into the cloud will be consolidation zone. It will be killing uh, time value. That's it. Nothing else. And then here, a pressure also is below the zero only. It is bearish. Though it is a reversal, short term reversal. In case it goes above zero only, it is a perfect bullish pattern. And also it should go above the cloud. As of now, the recent seen at the Tenkan Sen Kijunsen here. The Tenkan Sen Kijunsen level is 11,300 levels. So 11,300 is going to be a very good resistance. So coming to the Bank Nifty. 
bank nifty also like uh, it was uh, supposed to go above the cloud it was uh, going such a way that it will touch but otherwise it does not happen actually now it's going below the possibility of going below the cloud future cloud also is showing red so this is bearish setup only till we don't cross above the cloud it is bearish setup here also head of pressure should go above zero for any new uh, reversal move to come on the upside let us go to the second chart setup bollinger band 20 day moving average we are not got any uh, spinning top we made a spinning top also and we are not uh, could not cross 20 moving average so 11336 is the resistance for nifty and then in case of bank nifty the same thing here also the same structure 20 moving average we could not cross 22100 levels so at least 22000 levels should be crossed for any up move to come so after two days of up move again we are coming down if you see here so many green bars and then one red bar like in between also you see only red bars and here are so many red bars then two green bars last time also after making two big down move two green bars came and here also after two um, big move then two red bar, green bars facing so this also another way of reading the candles like how many green candles red candles are forming in the past 10 days you can just see have an idea so that way you can understand key more strength is on the downside so in case tomorrow also we're forming a red bar then we can know that the now downtrend has started actually swing let us go to the third chart setup heiki nashi heiki nashi second green bar no problem nothing to worry as of now <clears throat> and then the adx also has not given any buy signal as of now hold the sell signal sell, sell signal and in case of uh, bank nifty also in the same way we have green bars only but however overall signal if you see it's a resell only okay 23000 is the level where we could get buy signal the other time any rise is additional opportunity to short only and here also no buy signal sell signals holding on once the gap widens then trend will be increasing on the momentum will increase on the downside the fourth setup 5 ema so one day just we closed above the 5 ema high and again we went into the zone into the consolidation zone which is between the high low ema and then okay, this is for case of bank nifty and in case of nifty the same scenario just we close the border above the five day high ema but again we are into the consolidation zone in the price is between this five high ema and five low ema it is consolidation zone but however just see the trend the line how it is changing that way you can know that the price is going on the upside down Till we don't break the previous day low, we should be continuing the trend. As of now, we are not close today is low actually, in case if you see Nifty. So that way, it is not uh, any change in the trend as such. But if you see also in case of Bank Nifty also, the previous day close low, low is not a close below that. The close is really 21411, but yesterday's low was 21,055. So for tomorrow, just see whether yesterday's low is broken, like which is your 21,287. If the low is broken, then there is a concern. Now, <clears throat> let us go to the key data points. So the key data points, FAS, if you see here, they are just uh, cut down their positions to 4,900 contracts. Let us see the day-wise also. Day-wise, if you see FAS, they cut down yesterday, they are holding 16,000 contracts of index future. Today, they are holding 4,900, almost 10,000 contracts they cut down. In case of clients, they just increased by 3,000 contracts here. So overall position is FIs are again started to maybe like they're controlling their position to the shorting side. And PCR also, it is not looking so great. It is in the border case for Nifty, but the bank Nifty is less than one, it is bearish. So overall highest open interest, if you see here, 20,000 call will be a highest open interest, which is 9 lakhs, 67,000 contracts for bank Nifty. And in case of 21,000. 7 lakh contract so the range is going to be 21,000 to 22,000 levels for the tomorrow at least so once these people 21,000 foot traders come under pressure then only any move can come on the downside till the time one shouldn't bother about that but today if you see here highest open interest built up for today 21 final call highest build up happened actually <laughs> but in case of a put option not so much of uh, put up built up happened actually but still some uh, 21 400 put option 271000 contracts got added so but however the risk coming uh, seeing the contracts what has happened today the highest top five contracts were call side only option rating happened 
so that way the risk is getting more on the higher side and in case of a nifty also highest open 11500 call and the lowest is 11700 so the range is the building between 11000 and 11500 the next range is between 11200 and 11400 these are two ranges they are setting actually and in case of uh, nifty today highest open is built up was seen in the 11400 call actually the 11300 call so it looks like uh, 11300 call is going to be a big resistance actually for nifty in the uh, coming days for next two days till expiry so this is what we see next uh, we'll see the lakshman reka and the weekly point so lakshman reka it is bullish we have 144 points gain in the nifty and uh, 322 points in bank nifty so not much left actually once we break 21,000 level then it's going to be something uh, fishy and problem for bank nifty this is the futures level and in case of uh, midpoint also 21,294 is the support once we break that here because we are we are not 21,450 just we are 150 points away only in case we close uh, almost 200 points below the uh, level of uh, 21,300 roughly some of this amount remember the number 21,300 below that there's going to be a problem but we may intraday we may go below this level but however we'll bounce back because option pain is around 21400 now as of now but in case of nifty only 50 points question is there for nifty from weekly midpoint so just just the purpose of making these big numbers are that you will remember this even if you just close your eyes you'll be able to remember this out of flash just remember these numbers take a snapshot and keep in your desktop also while trading just remember this because these numbers is not going to change for intraday and for the levels for tomorrow is uh, 21,160 is the short breakout. So this matches with your this level also, Lakshman Rekha also. So 21,100, 150 levels is the level where big move can come on the downside. Buying put option can be very good rewarding scenario. And in case of long breakout, 21,740. The chances are very less looks at 21,740 on the upside considering the current scenario. And in case of uh, Nifty short record 11,173, which is matching with your midpoint also. So 11,180, 173. <clears throat> this level is going to be very, very crucial. On the upside, 11,300, which is the highest built up of the call interest also you saw. <coughs> Sorry. So 11,300, 11,180. This level you remember for tomorrow, long breakout, short breakout. So coming to the Davis private point also, today's range, if you see, yesterday I told about the range also. That's another thing you can just have a look at it. So the range you see today is 412 points. Yesterday 447. So no, this is uh, in the order. Yesterday 716 points so range. Today is 527 points range. So this range also there is another way of finding it actually. I'll tell you. Uh, Nifty in case of Nifty the range is 112 points. The range has come down actually. The consolidation range. It is not NR7 actually. We can tell here one uh, one two three four four NR5. So the lowest range in the last five days. Once the range comes slow, then the expansion happens actually. Okay, so whenever it ranges low, just be cautious. The expansion can happen. The last how many days? If you see here, every day we've been almost 200 points range. Now we are slowly coming down. Suddenly the expansion comes here. When just keep a note of the high and low every day morning. Uh, by that some time passes. Once the range expansion happens, then you just go for option buying. So there is one way of finding the volatility. Okay, just I will take you through the reports. Uh, uh, if you go to the reports in NSE India website uh, under the derivative section, uh, then you just go down here. There is something called FNO daily volatility. This report down, download it and then you get uh, stock wise what is the volatility. So I developed this report based on that actually filtered it for Nifty and Bank Nifty. So this is nothing to do with this manually. I just updated here for reference. 2400 is option point to allow this 200 is option point for Nifty and Bank Nifty. And this is the way like you can see what is the applicable volatility for bank nifty nifty 1.72% for nifty and 2.35% this is the closing price what you do is just apply this percentage 2.35% 21450 apply 2.35% then for next day for tomorrow 500 points range expected roughly assuming the current volatility continues so that way the lowest level can be 21000 20950 levels for tomorrow and 21950 22000 levels is the tomorrow high expected maximum if it is in the uptrend, assuming that uh, tomorrow everything is goes in uptrend, then 20,000 levels maximum level you can see. So any dips, uh, you can look for shorting 20,000 put in case you want to buy uh, short. And then in case of dip comes, then uh, look for shorting the put option around this level. Don't go nearby. 
Because the option pain is around 2400, so chances of that we may not uh, get loss in the 22,000 put shots. Similar case of Nifty, the range is 193 points. 1.72 percent is the expected volatility or current volatility. So tomorrow suddenly may not come down. Slowly only it will come down. That way the low is around maximum low is 11,000 levels 40, and then maximum high is 11,428. So this is one way of seeing the volatility data and understand what is the range for tomorrow. Unless or always there is some range increasing from 500 to 700 points, then according the range can increase. But however, this is a more chance of and this higher high probability of range in this level. And uh, <clears throat> okay, this chart, one thing I noticed actually, it is the Sphinx you can see here actually. I'm doing some research on this. And you can see the midpoint Sphinx. So whenever the swing is low happening, okay, this low swing, if you see here, today the swing low was 11,242. Yesterday was 11,170. So before that it was 10,961, 10,930. So whenever the swing low is keep coming down, then there's indication that you have to be on the cautious and the low, lower side. Okay, just if you see here, day wise, you can see the pivot point here, also midpoint, I just plotted here, 11,242, yesterday was 11,170. Once the midpoint started increasing, that's the time you would be cautious and then start. If you want to buy a uh, option buyer, then look for buying opportunity when the midpoint is increasing actually. Tomorrow, if the midpoint is coming down below 11,242 or 11,200 levels, then that time you just uh, be cautious for downside buying put options. Similarly, if you see for Bank Nifty also, uh, yesterday's, uh, uh, yesterday's uh, midpoint is not 21,408, today 21,576. So the range, the midpoint is going up. Okay, till the midpoint starts coming down, 2500 is the midpoint if you make it. Then you see for down move actually. And the midpoint give you indication of how the market is moving. If you see here, how much we made a high actually, almost 21840. Here the low, the midpoint once we crossed in four days and we make this move. So just try this midpoint concept. It's a very useful concept, very simple, but very powerful also. So this one chart is useful. We can now swing highs and lows for Nifty Bank Nifty. So PCR, coming to the PCR. So today, uh, coming to the PCR, it is almost like 11,200 is a support actually, 1.29. And here 24 is a support. So just uh, uh, take a note of this. Uh, in case uh, down move comes also, we have big cushion here, 21,000 levels. So market, you know, I don't think uh, will break 21,000 levels tomorrow. And here also 11,000 will not be broken. That's what it looks like mostly. And then intraday. So this is the one thing I've been uh, posting you on inter Telegram channel basis. So once we download this option chain data to the uh, your folder, just you just go and refresh this, you'll get this data updated. So I'll get a, uh, on a live base also the Nifty PCR, Bank Nifty PCR. Once it will refresh, just I go here. Uh, what I do is here, just right click and refresh data. So once I download this uh, option chain and then refresh it, it takes two seconds to update that's it. So I know lively whether this is the, uh, what is the highest open interest, what is the support resistance, uh, I can see very easily. In PCR also I can understand on the real time basis. The only thing is that once the option chain data is uh, allowed by NSC India for uh, automatic updation, then the life is going to be very easy. Just uh, no one will download the option chain data. Yeah, I'll just refresh this here and nothing uh, is possible that you can get this data on real time basis without any problem. Hope they will do it uh, quickly. Let us try for the best. Okay, hope uh, you uh, you like the video. Please subscribe, like the channel so that I'll be coming out with some interesting things for you on daily basis and make your life easy as a trader. Thank you so much.